I heard you laugh in the background because you couldn't handle it no more. So your ass had to laugh in it. <laughs> that was not fucking funny. I did not laugh at all. My fucking balls got horny. My balls got massive. And I had now have jumbo balls. What is going on, guys? Snap for here. Back with this guys. We're on call. Do you like our stream today, guys? I hope you enjoyed the video of the main work class setup. If you're on your channel, make sure you do subscribe right now. And don't mind the intro. That was, you don't need to talk about that at all. <laughs> and yeah. This is the Man of War class setup, so I do hope you enjoyed the video, and yeah, let's just get into the video, and subscribe to see more videos in the future. So here we go guys, I want to say, this is my opinion, the Man of War class setup, this is what I would, this is what I'm, this is the class I like to use. And yeah, let's just get started. So, so attachments I, I like using on my Man of War is Reflex, Grip, High Caliber, and Stalk. The reason why I like those attachments is because I like to use Reflex because it, it's a sight. You need a sight on the Man of War. It's in the sorry if you don't use a sight on, uh, if you do not use a sight on the Man of War, you're weird because you need a sight on there. And without a sight, you're not going to kill it. You're not going to get kills. The second attachment I like to use is grip. It basically reduces recoil and allows me to aim better, get more kills, PP more people, and just fucking obliterate kids. Like you know what I mean? So I always run grip. That's my opinion. If you don't like running grip, it's fine. But I always like to run grip. The third attachment is high caliber. I always recommend run high caliber because that those head that extra headshot damage will do you some things, bro. That, that extra headshot damage, at least, at least like if he's one shot, and you get that one bullet in his head, or if he's two shot and he gets that one bullet in his head and he's dead, that that hike that extra headshot can actually save your life and you can allow you to get more kills. And since I aim toward the heads a lot of the times. It helps me out a lot, and I, that's why I like to run high caliber. And I always recommend that using that on any assault rifle because high caliber will help you out a lot, especially on the headshots. Headshots if you're trying to go for dark matter or if you're trying to get kills and you're trying to aim for the head, especially them head glitches out there too. And them head glitches, yeah, this will help you a lot too. So I always run high caliber. The fourth attachment, guys, I like to run is stock. The reason why stock is because it just gets more accuracy to gun. Gets rid of recoil and this allows me to aim better, pew pew more kids, blast the fucking ass, and just shove shit up their ass. Like, it just allows me to clap their cheeks way better in Black Ops 3. And, yeah, I like running that. This the, I always like to run stock on, no matter on what weapon I run on. I always like to run stock because it just helps out with overall accuracy and it just allows me to kill, get more kills. And I just see the, see it better with um, stock on the Man of War. So now, so for the secondary, I, I, this is, I would run the RK5, if you want to run like the machine gun pistol, the LKR9, or the MR6, go ahead, but I like to run the RK5 because the chance of you getting a one burst with the RK5 is not that high, but it's still possible, and set, especially when you're in that close corners and you're, you're trying to reload, but you don't have enough time to reload, you just pull up, whip out the secondary and pew pew some kids with that pistol, you know what I mean? So I always run RK5. And secondary. So the, for the purse, I like to run afterburner, scavenger, and blast suppressor. If someone ever tells you not to run afterburner, they're stupid. Because my experience, there's times where I, I ran guns without afterburner, and it did not go well. I'm so used to my boost regenerating faster with afterburner, and it allows you like to recover yourself. So if you actually fall off the map, and you that afterburner will come back in a couple seconds, you can get back on the map without dying or fall off the map and have yourself killed. Or allows you to get around the map, get up higher places way easier because you have afterburner on and you just have full, have faster recharge rate. It recharges faster and it's good for your health because it allows you to get more kills, especially if you're able to jump up in there, slide around, and just have more boost in general. Now for perk two, I like to run scavengers because you're gonna need the ammo, especially if you're going on high kill streaks. You're gonna need the ammo. If you don't want to run that scavenger. I always recommend running run hardwire because you know kids still like the kids still like to throw trip mine shock charges and C4s and you know kids like still like doing that and and you know it's 2021 kids still like to throw C4 trip mines and shock charges and when your teammates run by half the time it will kill you or in case you run by it will kill you so I had experience a lot of times and I always run a hardwire if I don't run if I don't want to run scavenger and if you don't want to run hardwire or scavenger you can run fast hands because you're your pistol, so you can swap hands faster and get your pistol faster before you die by someone with a fucking AK or some shit like that. Yeah. Now for perk three, I would run blast suppressor. 
The reason why is because you're gonna be if you're if you're like one of me, like me, jumping up in the air, sliding around, mainly using my thrusters most of the time, you're gonna want blast suppressor because you know the kids they hear that they hear that boosting, they hear you boosting with that loud ass jetpack you have on, they can turn around and pew your eyes very fucking easily. And you you're not gonna like that. So always run blast suppressor. If you don't want to run blast suppressor and you're a, per a ground person who likes to run around, not like to boost around and slide, run dead silence then because that will help you out. Also, if you're not someone who likes to use like the jetpack. And yeah, those are my, those are that. And I hope you enjoyed the video because this, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video because that's like the stuff I use in my main of work. That's the exact class I like to use, I like to use. So yeah, if you're in the channel, make sure you do subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future of best class setups in 2021. And tell me what kind of guns you want to see in the future, and I got you in that comment. So yeah, subscribe to the channel, and you push the up. I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video if there's still any more to watch, and yeah, enjoy. Over your skin you can see it beat, intoxicating your energy. First time in so long you felt the heat.